right, hello, welcome to the weather update. Yeah, they're back at it again today. Lovely, I'm trying to stay home, but it's very hard. Uh, the banging is so loud. Uh, started at 9 this morning again. It's just, it's just extremely inconsiderate, but anyway. Trying to stay in today, uh, you know, uh, you know, I mean. It's not raining that much out there, but it's not a nice day out there, so uh, I really don't want to go out. Hope that they end soon, but anyway, um, this is around 2 o'clock on March 25th, 2020, and uh, this is our storm again, and look at it. It's got an eye. So this is our coastal storm slash hurricane, uh, because it looks a lot like a hurricane. There's an eye in the middle of it. You can clearly see that eye right there. Uh, this is insane. <laughs> this is insane, folks. It's got an eye to it. Oh my god, that is nuts. Uh, so let's look at the radar. Uh, you can see we have some light rain um, that's mainly not over our area. It's mainly over more over New Jersey, but there could, could still be a little light rain or drizzle out there. Um, you know, not very nice at all. Um, we'll look at the uh, this radar too. You'll be able to see here. Offshore, there's some heavy rain. Uh, and some heavy rain around, uh, looks like Maryland uh, that's moving now eastbound into Delaware uh, and maybe the southern part of New Jersey but for us Long Island is staying dry for the most part but there could be some patchy drizzle out there um, not the nicest of days obviously uh, we have uh, this is our look at the current temperatures outside and you can see it's it's kind of raw in the mid 40s east winds uh, with gusts to 31 25 uh, so it's it's kind of windy out there. Like I said, not not a great day, to, you know, especially if you have to sit outside, obviously, because you can't sit inside a place. Um, so not a great day uh, to be going out anyway, uh, for that matter. Um, just kind of raw out there. Temperatures in the mid 40s. Uh, don't seem to have any buoys. All right, we do have one buoy here. That's reporting a wind gust of 29. I'm curious what the waves are. The waves are. Let's see. Five, about six feet, so uh, nothing too bad, but again, that could get a little worse uh, as the storm kind of gets gets cranking, uh, so to speak. Uh, New York City is reporting light rain, 43 degrees, um, while it is just overcast at Farmingdale and 47, and the east one. So just kind of raw out there, you know. I mean, you know, not. I mean, I'd go for a walk if the weather was nice, but it's not, and you know, it's just annoying that I got to listen to this, you know. This should not. This is not essential construction. It's just a renovation, uh, you know. So there's your storm again. Let's look at the. Um, you know, I'm sorry to rant about it. It's just you know when you're supposed to stay home, it's it's not considerate to me and everybody else who lives here. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. So I don't think we have enough of that high resolution satellite in to show you this. No, don't have enough. Uh, we could look at it on the next weather update, I guess, because uh, I really don't plan on doing one tonight. Um, doing it now getting it out of the way um, so uh, there's your storm right there uh, let's uh, focus more on this uh, and uh, you can see uh, here's the storm and it's really wound up on the GFS you can see that most of the rain stays away but around the center of it we have some pretty heavy rain going on uh, some pretty heavy rain A 995 milliball low um, and that it goes down deep as to 993, 989, and it keeps deepening as it moves away from us. So this could get to be a pretty deep storm uh, as it moves away from us. Tomorrow we have a dry day, and then, yep, chance for rain back in the picture on Friday. Uh, and then Saturday, too, probably, especially toward the afternoon. Uh, and then we try to get rid of it by Sunday. Uh, I'm not going to go any further beyond that. Um, uh, but, wow, what a storm. Uh, if we were to look at the winds on here look at this thing I mean it looks like a hurricane I mean there's an eye where the winds are calm and then around it you have stronger winds strongest winds on the backside uh, but uh, this thing looks like a freaking hurricane it looks like a freaking hurricane it's nuts it's nuts it's just nuts that's all I gotta say um, not nor this is again the effects of climate change and uh, they're quite scary. Uh, let's look at the 12 kilometer NAM. 
and you'll see the same thing here. And, and, the, and those areas where the reds are, the winds are sustained in the 40s. Uh, so there could be gusts well over that. And again, look, there's an eye. There is an eye. Uh, that's what makes this thing. Extra tropical systems not supposed to have an eye. Coastal storms are not supposed to have eyes. Tropical storms have eyes. So that's what I'm saying. This thing has tropical characteristics, uh, which is really, really weird. Um, I want to see if this goes. This doesn't go any further out in the Atlantic, I don't think. We have the eastern U.S. one. And this will go a little further out so you can get an idea. Once this goes past, how it's going to stay fairly deep uh, as it moves. This is the NAM again. The GFS is a little more robust with the wind, and I think the GFS would be a little more accurate here. I even see a little bit of purple, which is sustained winds in the 50s. So, again, really unusual type of storm. Very unusual, and it's very notable, and I'm, of course I'm going to note it because it's not, this is not what's supposed to happen in March. Uh, definitely not. Uh, so uh, let's go back to the temperatures. Uh, we already looked at the temperatures today. Uh, and it's, like I said, it's kind of chilly out there, only in the mid-40s. Uh, and then this moves away, and then the, after a kind of chilly night, temperature is going to be in the mid-30s. We do recover to the middle, low and middle 50s tomorrow. Um, and then that warm front makes that approach. But the question is, how close does it get? You can see the GFS doesn't actually bring the warm front through Long Island. It has us mainly in the upper 40s. But Jersey could be close to 70. Uh, and then uh, for Saturday, we see, again, temperatures. You see that front gets pushed back uh, on Saturday. And so we have like a backdoor front type of situation and then Sunday we might see a little more of that warm air come in uh, Jersey could reach 80 again I wouldn't be surprised if it gets close and this is humid air too by the way if we were to look at the dew points you will see that uh, the dew points go up into the 60s in New Jersey on Sunday uh, uh, Saturday uh, not really because of that backdoor influence uh, but it does get a little humid on Friday too so um, that is definitely the, <laughs> uh, I tell you, this is so unusual, you know, this is so unusual, it's so scary. And like I said, I'm more scared of this than I am of this virus, but of course, the media wants you to, uh, you know, think about the virus, you know, and it's horrible. I'm not saying it's not, but this climate emergency is not something that's going to be going away anytime soon. Uh, so here's the NAM high resolution NAM for Friday. So a few maybe scattered light showers, very light probably uh, for our Friday. Uh, and then Saturday we see that probably dry through the uh, um, early afternoon and then the rain, then the chance of rain moves in. Uh, and then we're da back now to almost uh, noon on, I'm at uh, midnight on Sunday. It's as far as we can go on the NAM. Uh, I can look at the ICON model. Um, and it does bring the chance of showers in again for Sunday, uh, at least the early part of Sunday, and then we're done with it. Uh, and then we can maybe get rid of them by Monday. All right, but I'm not going to go that far out. Uh, so uh, let's go look at the GFS here and see uh, how it's going to do with the sky cover here, because um, that's something I'm, I'm really curious about as well. So uh, let's see. We can hope, to, hope tomorrow can be a clear day, and uh, let's back this up. So we start off with clouds, and then we clear out. So it actually should be a clear day tomorrow. Uh, this this low, this uh, this tropical hybrid low is going to pull a tongue of dry air down. You can see it around it, and then uh, we, get, we can enjoy some dry, clear uh, air tomorrow. And then Friday, the clouds roll back in on us, and obviously the weekend is going to have plenty of clouds around. Um, let's go look at the Nam. So we start off with clouds tomorrow, and then uh, we break out of the clouds, and I think we should have clear skies for, especially in the afternoon, for Thursday, uh, and then we're back into the clouds by Friday. Um, but actually, it tries to get rid of some of the clouds by later Friday. So we have this front that's going to try this front that's going to try to push through. Basically, you can clearly see the front right here. Uh, you can uh, draw it like this little backdoor front here, sort of like this. So, front looks sort of like this, all right? Draw it like this, all right? So this is your backdoor front right here. It's kind of 
uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not really moving all that much, but this is what it looks like for uh, your, your uh, Friday right there, right? So we have this back door front here that's going to try to move through the area. I guess the GFS, let's go move this to the arrows. Let's see what the temperature has. You'll probably be able to reflect. This is the NAM, but I'll look at that on the temperatures too. So oh, it erased that. All right, well, whatever. You can see that the back door front is, you can clearly see it right here. This is 22. You can see where in the 50s that the warm air is being suppressed to the south. You can see. Uh, it tries to make a run up and then it, come, it gets suppressed to the south. Uh, and uh, this is probably a little more realistic. The NAM handles cold air damming a little better. Uh, so Friday will be uh, not as warm as originally it was called for by some weather people. <clears throat> uh, you know what I mean by some weather people, uh, Samantha or Jerry. Uh, so uh, uh, <laughs> it'll be in the mid 50s. No 60s, sorry. Um, but uh, let's uh, look at the weather, I guess, for now. So, uh, just watching some light rain, and really, we'll just go look at the rainfall accumulator. Uh, and like I said, there really won't be that much. This is all the way through. This is the the higher resolution name. I'll put this back over here. Um, this is going through Saturday. Um, we get some of that rain f over the, over in the overnight. Maybe Friday morning, and then it's uh, the next batch of rain probably doesn't arrive until probably this is uh, the weekend. So we'll have to see. Now, obviously, it's gonna it's hard to forecast exactly how much rain there's gonna be. Uh, I know because it's now that we have to do everything outside, it's obviously uh, you know a bit of more of a pain. Um, but uh, this is pretty much we're not gonna see all that much rain. GFS says maybe not until that overnight Saturday night Sunday system moves in and then we're going to see more rain from that. Um, but wow, what a strange system this is. I'll just go to the satellite one more time because, you know, it just looks like a hurricane. I mean, look at it. I'll make this larger so you can see. Look at this thing. I mean, it's, it's a, it looks tropical. Look at, the, look at the eye. It's got an eye to it. I called it a hurricane already. It's not a hurricane. A tropical hybrid storm. And the reason why is, again, look at where, look at where the center of that is. There's a lot of warm water above normal uh, over there. And that's why we're seeing this. It's, it's really strange. That's all I can say. It's, and it's a large storm, too. Um, let me um, change this to, let's see. Maybe there's one that's U.S. East Coast. U.S. Atlantic Coast. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's do this. So you get an idea of this. So uh, here's the size of the storm. So I'm going to just show you this. And then we're going to wrap up this weather update. Uh, but look at this thing. I mean, it is a strange looking storm to me. And again, that's all because the waters are warmer than they're supposed to be. So if we go to earthnoldschool.net, I can't resist myself. I will uh, go to earthnoldschool.net and I'll show you exactly where these warm water temperatures are it's it's, it's just crazy um, so we go ocean I'll just show you the sea surface temperature anomaly uh, and bingo right over here where the storm is look at these sea surface temperature anomaly you have 4.8 degree Celsius sea surface temperature anomaly uh, that is Celsius above normal so this is 8.6 degrees Fahrenheit, warmer than it's supposed to be uh, for this time of the year. So, uh, and this is closing in ten in some areas. So you can see what's going on, and that's all because of what we're doing. Look at the Gulf. Wow, that's way above normal too. So, 8.2, 5.2 degrees above normal. And again, if you were wondering what the real temperature of that is, the actual temperature, uh, we can do that. Uh, that's 22.7 Celsius. The Gulf is in the 70s already. And like I said, if you go off the Delmarva about 100 miles, you have water temperatures closing in on 70 degrees, uh, which is really unusual. Uh, you know, uh, Further north, you have water temperatures closing in on 50, uh, which isn't enough to energize a hurricane. Uh, but this warm water certainly is. 
Uh, and uh, that's why we're seeing some of that energy from these warmer oceans uh, uh, be absorbed into these, these monster storms. So um, that's going to be it for this weather update. Uh, enjoy tomorrow, because tomorrow should be the nicest day for... Uh, after tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with lots of clouds and chances for rain, at least through the weekend. So that's going to be it for this weather update as we look at this uh, tropical hybrid storm. I'm going to name this storm Corona. <laughs> have a good day. Have a good day, everybody, and take care and be well.